If you went to apply for a passport, you would fill in fresh forms even when your details are already captured in the national ID. But this is going to change because government has sunk in $3.8 million in a computer system that will enable government departments to see the same information, for instance, about any citizen. Suppose you are applying for a passport, your information can be picked by the system of Ministry of Internal Affairs directly from NIRA. And so you have just provided your name and all the other information about you is picked and very quickly Ministry of Internal Affairs can process your passport. So these are the advantages of uh, integrating. So what about hospitals, government agencies or banks which are unable to, to serve citizens without physical IDs? If you have no physical ID, some places you can't be served. But what if a press of a button was able to help identify you as long as you had your name? Would that make life easy? Uh, also, a case of not easily tracking from a case from police to DPP, judiciary, to the prisons. How is a case going to be followed and tracked all the way if government systems are not talking to each other? So this. The process has been automated because you just have to sit behind your computer and fill in a form to access a service. This will still help to eliminate me domain in the land ministry. You can search for your land title on spot. Pay for it, you don't have to line up, you don't have to, all the middle main interactions are now elimi eliminated. If vaccination might become the new parameter for government services and permissions, even if you lose the fiscal card, the new system should enable being cleared with less hassle. Betty Dagire, NTV Business.